Yes, yes. Sorry. What does it prepare?
they were looking for a uh, Harrison Ford type for Tom Harris, they could be a potential, <laughs> yeah, 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 I feel the same way, trust me. <laughs> who, uh, who could be a potential love interest for this captain. And that was in the breakdown. Well, they never really wrote that. Did they? Well, after Except they explained to my agents that they were looking for an Angelina Jolie type. <laughs> <laughs> and, but we're counts. That's why I picked up on. Yeah. We're counts. Yeah. You know what that means, right? Yes, I think you do. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> No, we, uh, I think because Kate and I, because we knew each other so well, and uh, because the doors of our trailers face each other, <laughs> we knew everything about each other's lives, I think a lot of that comes off just in, in the way the scenes are played, even if they don't write it. I mean, they never really wrote a romance with our characters. They never wrote oh, it. They never did, but I think there was just a... A great connection. camaraderie. Yeah, there was a great, great. camaraderie. And there still is. We never had a bad word once in seven years. Not once. No. So if your trailers were not next to each other, you would not as be, uh, you wouldn't be as good friends? You certainly wouldn't be. Warehouse 13, Warehouse 13, Warehouse 13. Careful, there were... It's good, good. thank you, thank you for your thank question. You. Thank, thank you for your outfit. Thank you for everything. Thank you for my abdominal work. <laughs> The incomparable. Remember that word, gentlemen. Use it upon occasion. Yes. Yeah. Who's have pronounced the intonation by Wong and Myers? <laughs> it's, it's really more of a cloudy disguise of the question, but I, I, I um, was sort of wondering how you came by your diction, which you just seem so very well trained and, and expertly uh, administered, and what sort of opinions, if any, you have on vocal training in the profession. Uh, I suppose I'm a little affected. I was born and raised in the Vietnam, but my mother is very Eastern. And my mother talks a little bit like that, so you know what I mean? They all talk like that, sort of when they go to Mount Malu and they go that. So I was raised here in Kitty, you have to do it this way. What is that? It's the only way to be a consistent. So I sort of grew up like that, and then I sort of refined it, and now I'm really impossible. <laughs> I think you have to have good diction, but it's completely out of now. Nobody actually, nobody likes it. Nobody likes it anymore. Thank you. Thank you. And I like it also. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Did you dismiss everybody? No. Why? I think we have five minutes. We're running out of time. There's, a, there's the, uh, the five, five minutes. minutes. Yeah. No. I'm going to keep going. Is it very late? We'll be back. Time? We'll have more panels this weekend. We've only started this party before. <laughs> So through that 
of articulation. The audience had to believe that this was something uh, fantastic, but rooted in absolute possibility. And as an actress, I would like to say, and then you guys can argue me down, which is what you love to do. Um, I think that that's what actors should do. If they do it well, that's what they should do. Um, reality TV is, is taking us down to the cell of of understanding this. Don't you want to be honest? Thanks, Katie. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank we'll you. see you next weekend. Thank you.